Hey, Austin, what are we gonna draw today? A pumpkin wagon. Yeah, we're gonna draw a wagon with pumpkins in it. We hope you're gonna follow along. You need your drawing supplies. We're gonna yeah. use markers. We always like using markers, but you can use whatever you have at home, like a pencil. Yeah. You also need some? Paper? Yeah. <laughs> it's not to call it. Yeah, did you forget what yeah. this is called? <laughs> We're also using marker paper, and at the end, when we color our drawings, we're going to use markers. But also, you can use whatever you have at home. So if you want to use crayons to color with, or color pencils, or even, what are these? Well, pastels. Yeah. You ready to start? Yeah. Okay. First, we're going to draw the wheels to our wagon, and we're going to draw big wheels down here at the bottom of our paper. So I'm going to draw one wheel about that big. It's a big wheel. It's a big wheel. And, good job. Oh, that's a big wheel too. I like it. Now we're going to practice and we're going to draw another wheel over here. I'm going to leave a little space and then I'm going to try to draw the same size wheel that I, or a circle that I drew over here. And it's okay if it's a little bit bigger or smaller. It doesn't have to be exact. Now let's draw two more circles in each of these. We're going to draw another one inside. And then I'm going to draw another one that's even smaller. Yeah, and then another one inside that one. And then let's repeat that same step over here. We'll draw a medium size and a small one inside. Now let's draw the wagon. We're gonna draw a line that connects in between our two wheels and I kind of lined it up with the center of the wheel. Then we're gonna imagine that line going behind the front wheel and coming out just a little. And we'll do the same thing. Imagine that coming through and coming out the back. Well, this could be the front too. You could also use a ruler to line those up, but we just use our eyes to guess. Now we're gonna draw the side of our wagon coming up on each side and we want these to be the same height. Yeah. Now I'm gonna turn my paper sideways and we're gonna connect. We're gonna draw another line that comes all the way across and then connects to the other side. Good job. Okay, now let's add more details to our wagon. We'll line those papers up, there we go. <laughs> now we're gonna add another line, two lines. I'm gonna turn my paper again. Sometimes I think it's easier when you turn your paper, especially when you're drawing long straight lines. So I'm going to draw one, and then I'm going to draw another one right next to it. Like that. This wagon's made out of wood. It's kind of an old school wagon. Now we're going to draw two more lines, short lines, coming up like that, and up like that. We could also use a ruler, but let's just use our eyes to imagine and guess. We're going to measure with our eyes and we're going to come straight up and draw an upside down U. That matches these two lines. So it looks like there's a pole holding this piece of wood on. We're going to do the same back here. I knew exactly what we were going to do. <laughs> Good job. Now let's add hay inside of our wagon. I'm going to draw a zigzag line. We'll come out first and then I'm going to draw a messy zigzag line. You could draw zigzags that are big, some that are small, and I'm going to end it right there. You could go all the way across, but I think it looks cool like that. And then let's do the same, add a little more back here, and do the same thing. We'll stop there. Yeah, all right, I like that. Hey, good job. Now let's draw our pumpkins inside of our wagon. We're gonna draw a big one right here. I'm gonna come up, this one's tall. We're gonna come up, around, and then back down. There's a big pumpkin. It is, yeah, a really big pumpkin. Come around, yes. And then let's, let's draw another one that's smaller. I'm gonna draw it coming out of the side like this and then back down. You could even add more pumpkins, but we'll leave it just like that. That's perfect. Now let's draw the stem to our pumpkin on the left. We'll draw two lines coming out to the left, curving, yes, and then we can connect the top. Let's do the same over here, but let's curve over to the right and then connect those at the top. Now let's add pumpkin leaves coming out of the top of our pumpkins. We'll draw one big curve. 
Then we're going to draw a little zigzag and then a bigger curve coming out. Now let's draw another curve that kind of matches that first one or this last one we drew. And then we'll draw a little zigzag at the bottom of that and then curve back and connect. Let's repeat those same steps, but flipped going the other direction for this pumpkin. We'll draw a big curve coming out, little zigzag down, and then another longer curve coming back. And then let's do that same curve coming down. Looks like a sideways V, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Then we can do a little zigzag and then connect it into our pumpkin. All right, now sometimes the little vines are still stuck to the top of our pumpkin. Let's draw a little curl like that with a little loop in the middle. Loop around and then, yep. And then we're going to do the same thing. <laughs> yeah, all right, what's our pumpkins missing? Foot face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to see how long you could hold that. That was pretty long. Uh, I made my eyes water. <laughs> I'm going to add two ovals right here. I'm not sure these funny faces will look like your funny face, but <laughs> you could use your own creativity and change your pumpkins too. They could look differently if you want. Have a mustache. You could add a mustache. I'm going to add little highlights on the top of each eye. And then let's color in the big ovals and leave those little circles white. I always like doing that. It makes the eyes shiny and friendly. And then let's add a smile. I'm going to draw a line that comes across. <laughs> and then let's open, draw a little U shape I to thought that was open a them up. Face. <laughs> oh, it could be a straight face, yeah. I like making them look happy though. And then we'll add a little tongue. Let's color in this top shape. I'm so excited for fall and for. Thanksgiving and Halloween. Mm -hmm. oh, I love the fall holidays. Okay, now let's draw a funny face over here. I'm going to draw, this one's really happy. I'm going to draw two little upside down U's for the eyes. This one's really laughing. I'm going to draw that straight line again. Another straight face. <laughs> straight face. And then we're going to draw a curve that comes down and connects to the pumpkin, the other pumpkin. And then we'll draw one that can, connects to the hay. And we're, oh, let's add a little tooth. And also, let's add a little tongue inside there, too. That's a big tongue. Okay, let's color in everything except for the tooth and the tongue. What's your favorite part about fall? Um, hmm. Okay, do you the want the trees turn? Ooh, yes. Orange and all red. the different colors in the tree. I like that, too. I also really like the food oh, yeah. and the smells, They're the smell from the food. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, you did it. You colored it up. Oh, almost up by the tooth. Austin. Oh, wait, there's more. <laughs> I thought you were done. Yeah, keep going. Oh, just a little more. Oh, yes. Good job. Awesome. We did it. Now, we could add a handle to our wagon. Oh, let's do that. Let's add a wagon. A wagon handle. <laughs> yeah, so it actually looks like a wagon. Yeah, let's Not draw. a car. Not just a, yeah, a car. Well, <laughs> With, weird car. <laughs> let's draw a line coming up. And then I'm going to add another line right next to it. That's for the pole for the, the handle. And then we can draw a line going across. Then let's also draw two lines on the side of that, going up that match, and then connect the top. Let's also add one more little rectangle shape inside so that the handle has thickness. Yeah, we did it. We finished drawing our pumpkins, our funny pumpkins. Hey, these pumpkins look like they're having fun. Yeah. They're going for a ride. Now, we still have one more step, right? Color it. Yes, we need to color it. We picked out a lot of colors. This part we're going to fast forward, but at the end you can pause the video to match our same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah.
Austin, give me five. We did it. We finished coloring our pumpkin wagons. Did you have fun? Yeah. Well, I love your little pumpkins, man. They look like they should be going down a hill, <laughs> like really, really fast. Yeah. <laughs> now you guys can pause the video to match your same coloring. Or you can color it any way you want. And we hope you had a lot of fun drawing your pumpkins. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.